Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Why would I take such a beautiful machine like this and waste all this time and money painting it with a roll-on painter and a couple buckets of Rust-Oleum from Home Depot? I'm just kidding. We both know it's a piece of shit. So, um, you saw the title. You actually, here's the crazy thing about YouTube, you've actually seen the end result. I, as I sit right now, I have no idea how this is going to go. I have no idea what it's going to look like. It could turn out really well. Um, for a hundred-ish dollar paint job, it could look fantastic. You know, the, the idea is to get like a 10-foot paint job. Um, so it looks good from 10 feet away. Or from online. <laughs> Which is all any of you are probably ever going to see of it anyway. So, that's all that matters. Uh, I just want it to all be one color again. I'm sick of this, you know, black bumper... One color of silver hood. Some of the car is another color of silver. I've got a white hatch. I mean, it, it looks tacky. And if, if anything, it doesn't look like one car. It looks like the Frankenstein build, which kind of is what it is. But that's beside the point. So I am going to get straight to the point. Well, this sucks. I killed my sander. I, it's like, I've got one section of hood left and that's because I've got a little body filler. I'm waiting for it to dry. Um, this part of the hood's done. This side of the car is mostly sanded except you can see the shiny bit on the rear quarter back there. The roof, the roof. The roof is on. It's still very bumpy. Like, that's never gonna be perfect and I don't care. I might actually replace that someday. But I've got a door, a rear quarter, half of a rear hatch. And now I have to go buy a new sander because there's no way in hell I'm hand sanding this. So that really sucks. say that is a it's a really good test I like it so I decided to go ahead and do one just straight out of the can uh, with just the smoke gray and I'm very happy with my decision to not just paint it that color because that is that is super light I know I just put a teeny tiny little uh, thin slab of it on there but like come on that's not even close <laughs> so like I said that's more the color I want and this is significantly closer. Um, I'm actually really happy with this middle one. It looks really dark right here, but then once you put it on something that large, it's actually gonna dramatically lighten it up anyway, uh, at least to the human eye. Uh, this is just too dark. I'm glad I didn't do one-to-one. -one. So this was a one-to-one. -one. This was a two-to-one gray over black, and then that's just plain gray, obviously. for a second um, I've actually been putting the rest of this paint job off for 
a while. Uh, it's been a few weeks, I think, since I last did anything with it. Mostly out of frustration, but also because the leather has just been like freaking terrible. Um, too cold for painting and too cold for me to be in the garage. Uh, but basically, the frustration part comes into a mistake I made. So, whenever I first bought all the materials and everything, you might have actually seen earlier in the video, I'm pretty sure I probably warned you not to do this at this point. Um, I got this stuff and I should have got this stuff. This stuff is like milky white. It turns out it is, and you can't see it because it's not in English, um, but it's a substitute mineral spirits or some something along those lines. Basically, it's not proper mineral spirits. Uh, mineral spirits should not be white. And I did not know this because I have no history with them. Get this stuff. It's the same, oddly enough, it's the same brand. Just don't go for the green. Reason being is it never really thinned the paint down properly. I could never get it to the right um, consistency that I wanted, which I'm, there's a ton of videos out there explaining the kind of consistency that you want. But basically you want to be able to dip a spoon into the paint and then let it drip for, it should have a steady running stream of drip for like three or four seconds. This wasn't doing that. Uh, so I just did it anyway. I used it and it did fine, except that it was doing some weird things with the colors. And I actually ended up switching from the gray to the blue because I thought it was the paint. <laughs> it wasn't the paint. So yeah, a lot of extra work that I've had to do. So now I've got some sanding to do because whenever I did the last coat of the blue with the proper stuff, it bubbled up a lot more and I didn't have a blow dryer handy. So I'm going to do some wet sanding. I'm going to... Um, start painting again and i'm hopefully going to get it done this week because there's actually like three or four days of really nice weather uh, relatively nice weather by nice weather i mean it's only going to get down into the 30s instead of the single digits every night for the rest of this week um so hopefully i will be finishing us uh, finishing this up very soon while i still have patience Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about this project. Um, this was supposed to be a short one. It was supposed to be done in a week or two's time. In theory, it can be. Uh, the, even the way I did it, I changed colors halfway through for you know reasons mentioned earlier. I uh, wasn't really thrilled with how it was coming out even after I went to the blue. So then I found out some other things are going wrong. So yes, I've I've run into some issues. Uh, a lot of those were caused by me, um, but it's okay, it's a learning process. I have finished the car, the car is done. I do need to paint these wheels in the meantime. They're not gonna be the track wheels, so they're not the final product. I don't really care particularly about these wheels, but they're ugly right now and they don't match. Uh, so if anybody has any ideas, comment below and let me know what color would look best on this. I'm thinking like a dark gray, maybe black, I'm not a big fan of black wheels, but we'll see. What I decided to do is, as you might notice, I'm in a different place now. I've been moving for, I don't know, a week now. It's It's been a long process. And I wanted to finish everything because I had to get everything out of the garage before I moved because I, I don't have a garage anymore. And I needed to finish the job quickly. The way it was going, I was going to probably spend another three or four days just sanding down um, and then doing the buffing polishing process after the fact. And I didn't have that time. I didn't have the attention span with everything else going on. So what I did was I went with a matte uh, clear coat and I literally used spray paint. Like went to Home Depot, got like seven or eight cans of just a matte clear coat and sprayed the ever living crap out of everything. Um, it actually came out surprisingly good. Uh, it, it's a it's a 10 foot paint job, just as I said that I wanted on this. Like if you're standing 10 feet back and you're not letting the sun hit it at the exact right angle, it looks great. Uh, looks great on camera, <laughs> as you might have already seen. So yeah, you can see it's not terrible. It's it's worthy of a track car, I think. Especially one that's gonna be abused, beaten. I mean, um, I don't really care 100% how it looks. I just wanted it to all be one color again. 
but yeah, ultimately the car is painted and I am happy with it. I love the blue. I love it, especially once I did the matte clear coat on it. It kind of lightened it up a little bit. Uh, for some reason when it was gloss, it was just, it was hitting a little bit darker. I don't think it was reflecting all of the color that I wanted it to. Um, then again, I'm colorblind. So let me know, does it look like crap? It probably does, but who cares? Um, that's the end of this video, finally. It has been since, I think, I wanna say February is when I started this. And I just kind of put it aside and did a bunch of other things. Um, but I'm, I'm super happy to have it done. Uh, the car is now sitting on its butt in storage while I figure this whole garage situation out. And then I hope to, you know, kind of keep this going and get it on track very soon since tracks are now opening up. If you have any questions, look for a different video because <laughs> this is definitely not a how-to. Um, this is not the right way to do any of what I did, but it worked for me in the long run uh, and I am moderately happy with it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.